guys, happy Cricut Monday. I already have my design space pulled up here on my computer and what we're going to be doing this week, I'm just going back over bake basics just a little bit. Um, I just want to show you how to use text in design space and show you a few things if you're having some problems. I had some problems with this. I'm not going to be printing out anything today. I just want to go over the basics first and then we'll get more advanced to printing things and putting things on mugs and different things like that. So what you want to do is just go to new project right here on the left, the circle with the plus and click on that. And then um, I just want, like I said, to show you how to use text. So right down here is text. It says text with a big T and it's on the left side here. So just figure out what you want to say and click on the text. Um, I thought I would use um, happy spring for this one. Okay, so um, you'll see right down here on the bottom left corner, a text box opens up and I'm just going to type happy on here and you'll see it just is defaulting mine is at least to Cricut Sans. If you want to change it, all you do is where it says font up here on the left hand corner, click this downward triangle and then you can pick the one you want. I think I'm going to use uh, Bickley Scripts. You can search through here, you can upload your own images from I think it's dfont.com. I've used it before. Um, and then, uh, but I'm going to search because I know the one that I want. And I probably should tell you this. This, when you click on all, this contains everything that Cricut, all the fonts Cricut has, as well as what my computer contains. Okay, this is my computer. This is Cricut's fonts. And then these are all of the fonts up here at the left, all system and Cricut. Okay, so I'm going to search and I'm just going to type in Bickley. And here it is, Bickley script. Okay, and you'll see that it already put happy on here for me. Okay, so I'm going to move this up and I'm going to um, make this zoom in somewhat so that you maybe hopefully we'll be able to see what I'm trying to show you okay so if you have something that's cursive like this you want it to look like it's handwritten okay so what you can do is this is see it's when it's not highlighted you have no choices up here at the top or on the right hand side at the top or the bottom right hand side okay so you want to click on it highlight it okay draw your box around it and then what we're going to do is go to letter spacing okay and we're just going to hit that down uh, like an arrow it's really a downward triangle and if you look in here let me zoom in a little closer you'll see that these letters are starting to move closer together okay so just keep getting them, just keep clicking that, and you'll see the letters keep moving inward. Okay, and I'm gonna do it just until that first A touches, okay? Then you'll see that they don't, they're not all connected, and this one isn't nice and smooth, and I've got all these empty spots in here. So to get it to where I want it, you just draw your box around it then you're going to go up here in the right hand corner under layers and click on ungroup right here that's going to see if you look over here then on this tab over here in the layers group each letter has its own layer so they're separate okay let me move in just a little more okay so we're going to put happy. I mean, you wouldn't have to move it up. I just moved it up. I'll just put it back. Okay. So I'm going to move the A till it's touching. And then I'm just going to move the P so it's touching. It looks like it's handwritten. The same thing for this one. And then the same for this. Okay. Now what you want to do is draw a box around it and hit group up on the right hand corner right here under the layers it's a group 
Now this is all grouped as one unit and it will move, okay? And it looks pretty good. Let me zoom in some more so you can see. I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like it's going to be nice and how we want it, okay? So now we're going to go to text again and hit spring. I mean, type in spring, okay? All right, okay, let me zoom out some. All right, so what we're going to do with spring is the same thing. We're going to draw a box around it and move it up here, okay? And we're just going to hit the letter spacing again and just move it in until that P and R start to touch, okay? But you can still see there's a lot of empty space, okay? So we're going to go up to the right-hand corner and hit ungroup, okay? Then all we have to do is just slide our P wherever we want it and our R, just make it so it's touching. Now, if you'll notice, this one isn't quite touching. Let me zoom in again. And then pull the G over, and that N needs to come over a little bit more. Okay. So it all looks pretty good. Okay. So you're going to draw a box around it and hit group again so that it will be one cohesive unit. Okay and then it will just move as one piece, okay? So say I want it to look, oh, say I want it to look like that, okay? So maybe I like how that looks. Maybe I want it offset like that, or maybe I just want it like that, okay? So you can put it where you want it. Then all you have to do is draw you a box around it, then go up here to the top and hit a line. Okay, it says a line. Click on that, and you want to align it center horizontally. And you saw that that shifted over a little bit, okay? So if you wanted, you could go then up here to, and you'll notice this is all just cut. If you look down the right-hand side of the layers panel, everything is set to cut, okay? If you wanted, you could print and cut and clicking where it says under fill, no fill, and hit print, okay? And then you could change uh, the colors that you wanted it to print, or you could hit color and hit pattern underneath that and choose a pattern to turn your font into okay if that's what you really wanted to do say I wanted to have it red you could do that but I don't want to do that so I'm going to draw my square box around it go up here where it says fill click on it and put no fill then it just going to go back to only cut on the right hand side okay now, if I want to change the size, or if I just want to change the color of the, the print job here, then I'll just, of my letters, I'll just go up here to this black box on the left, and I can turn it into any color that I want. I can make it that, I can make it red, whatever. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna go back to black, okay? So we'll put our box back around it, and um, now I want to change the size. Maybe I don't want this to be 3.127 wide by a little over 2 high, okay? So we'll go back up here to the where it says size. There's a lock. You click on that. Then we're just going to go over here, and I want to make mine say 4 and say I want to make wide and I want it to be uh, like three high, okay? And then I'm gonna click the lock again so it will save it, okay? So that's what we have now, okay? So let's look and see what happens. Now let me 
get in here really close so you can see, okay? Now, to the naked eye here, it looks pretty good like everything. This might be a little off, but let's go to make it and see what would happen to this. Okay, you see all my letters are just thrown everywhere. So we don't want to do that. So we're gonna hit cancel right bottom because we want it to write out happy spring. Okay, and it's really hard to see. Let me kind of zoom in, but it looks like this is smooth, but if you, if you don't weld it, like I need to move this. So let me go ahead and select that and ungroup that and just move this over just a little bit and this P needs to come over just a little bit and then that Y just a little okay and this G same thing see right here this N is coming out and I had a problem and I'll show you and then I know what it, the problem was now okay so if let me go ahead and, and just leave this like this for now, okay? And then we'll look at it. I hope I'm not making it confusing. Okay, so we're going to group it back up, okay? So if you want it anywhere through here, Cricut is going to do like a, it's going to cut. There'll be a line. It won't be like a smooth handwritten, even though it looks like it will, okay? So we want to weld these letters together, okay? Then you can see it looks much better except down here where I need to work on this, but look what happened. This G is all full, okay? So we don't want that, okay? That means it took me forever to figure that one out. So we're going to, and once you weld something, the only way to un, get it unwelded is to undo, okay? So hit undo undo and then you'll notice that that G didn't was it filled in okay so I need to take this G and just move it over so what I want to do now I can ungroup this the bottom I ungrouped happy now I'm ungrouping spring because it has its box around it hit ungroup okay now, I found out that there, it's something is too close when that G fills in. So I'm going to move it up a little and see if that will help, okay? And you just have to keep messing with it. Then you want to just group it back together, draw your box, hit group right hand corner at the top, okay? Then we want to weld it and see what happens. No, I still have that same problem, okay? So you can see up here, there's no way to get out of weld unless you just hit undo top left corner, okay? And it took me a while to do get this right the other time that I tried it. So let me just, it's, I've clicked on it and I have my box around it. Let's ungroup it. Now, let's see, I'm going to move that about like that and see what that does. Then I just moved it over a little bit. Then we're going to draw our box around it, hit group, and then hit weld here at the bottom. And you'll see now my G is not filled in. That drove me crazy for the longest time to figure out how to get that G because I kept thinking, well, the Y, the y didn't fill in, the P didn't fill in, the A and the other P's. And then I thought, maybe it's too close. So I kept moving it around and eventually the G opened up, okay? So now if we go up here to the right-hand corner, make it, you will see, let me zoom in really close because I know it's hard to see. That's as close as I can get it. It now says happy spring and it's all attached together, okay? So um, I just wanted to go over that with you. Let me zoom out so it's not so big. 
So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're trying to uh, like work with text and you're having problems with like I did with that G filling in, I'm still learning the Cricut so I don't know everything at all. I'm just a beginner just trying to help other beginners that are having issues just like me. So, um, but if you're having problems and that G keeps filling in or one of these other letters, it's too close and you just have to keep messing with it to get it like you like it. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.